Welcome back. Well, the next Fed meeting coming up, but of course not ready to raise rates just yet. Consumers already feeling some pressure as rents are rising and continue to rise. A new survey from Rent.com says more than two-thirds of property managers say rental rates could rise by an average of 8% into next year. We know that rent prices have already been soaring. Yale University professor and Nobel Prize winner Robert Schiller joins us right now. And uh, we want to talk about your new book as well as what's going on in the markets right now. Robert, good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. Fishing for Fools is the new book. I, uh, we're, we're talking about uh, fishing for fools in terms of markets and, the, and what, what happens in terms of when markets get too overheated. Tell us about Fishing for Fools. Well, George Akerlof and I wanted to write a book about the dark side of economics. Well, you know about this. We wanted to give a perspective on it. And the it, it, people can be manipulative and deceptive. I, I guess we teach that to our children. But what we don't emphasize is how an economy in, actually incentivizes that. If, it, unless there's a civil society watching, it incentivizes that. It's a fundamental problem with uh, un, completely unregulated or unwatched free markets. And, and is, is that what happened? Is that still happening? Well, I mean, what, a recent example is Volkswagen. They, uh, a venerable corporation, it put in a defeat device in their cars. It was fraud. And they got away with it for a long time. Now, I don't mean to be, we're not negative about people. I think people are mostly good. But you have an economic system. You have to compete with Volkswagen, the old Volkswagen, if you're another auto producer. It creates an incentive to do something like this. Yeah. And we get into an atmosphere where everybody's doing it and it becomes hard so that's why we need we call them heroes people who stand up for what's right in business well what motivates these heroes you know i'm kind of going i'm going back to your partner dr akerloff's uh, work from 45 years ago uh, oh. markets for lemons where he yeah, said right. you know what there's lemons and there's peaches and if you have the peaches you don't want to sell the peaches you're going to keep the peaches right, right. and you're going to go sell those lemons out so what makes what, what, what what's going to make these people sell their peaches well, it has to be something other than thinking, well, first of all, <laughs> a business person can think, I don't want to do these other things. I'm a moral person. And to some extent, there's some latitude to do that. But you can't do it too much because you'll go out of business. You know, profit margins are tight. You end up compromising yourself. And I don't fault people for accepting some compromises. You have to survive in business. It's, you have to judge someone on, on balance. Right. Let me, let me ask you about business today, uh, Bob. And, and, and we've been debating an, uh, the global story every day. How would you characterize things right now in terms of the, the, the broader economy and in particular housing? Well, right now we are in what I call the new normal boom. Well, it's not my term. Uh, but the new normal is the atmosphere of, of the world now. I think it's a somewhat anxious, worry, worrisome time. It's infected by fears of new technology these are it comes up all the time will your job be replaced by a computer young people are worried and it's just a sense of instability which yeah. is holding the economy why back. why well uh any of these things has multiple causes but what comes to my mind first is that thing you're holding yeah i'm trying i want i'm tweeting what you're uh, before what you're saying long, those things will be taking your job mm. <laughs> i don't know this is going to take my job <laughs> <laughs> well i don't i don't mean to Morning i'm to not Android. predicting the future of technology but i'm reacting to what people are afraid of mm. yes that thing is already reducing demand for news people and yeah it, you're right it, that's absolutely right. Yeah, things are moving digitally. Yeah. I mean, we're looking for, Dr. Schiller, right, short-term gratification, both in the markets. You know, we don't see interest rates. Uh, the market's topping out. People are becoming very anxious about their investments. That's what's driving these activists. That's what's driving these short-term kind of aberrations, right. willful violations of, of government regulations. How do we get around that? Well, we can't get completely around it. What, what George Akerlof and I say is we're... A, a free market economy gets into a fishing equilibrium where there's a certain level, we call it fishing, right. being, that's a metaphor for any deception, yeah. uh, but there's a certain level of it that's accepted and it's, it's hard to advance. It, it takes 
a lot of campaigners, people who uh, talk about it and do, do something. Did you eat cat food when you were writing this book? <laughs> Uh, I, I, uh, doesn't everybody sample their cat food? <laughs> I thought, as a pet owner, George thought it was so amusing. Well, I'll tell you, cat foods that are labeled with gourmet labels, they're not gourmet if you taste them. <laughs> Fishing for cats. Robert Schiller, thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you soon. Bye.